Remove the protective cover from the top of the motor by pushing firmly on the metal latches and by moving the hooks with a screwdriver. Unscrew and lift the support straps from the brushes. Lift the brush and disengage the wire from the brush flange. Pressure with a small flat screwdriver is necessary to disengage the connector. At this step, check if the rotor is in good condition. If the carbon brushes are too worn out, for example, they might have made streaks on the rotor. It is then possible that the motor must be replaced. If the rotor is in good condition, place the connector into the new brush. Place the brush into the motor by pushing slightly against the rotor. Important, never touch the tip of the brush. Make sure that it is sitting correctly in its support. Replace the support strap on the brush and hold it in place with the screws. Replace the protective cover on the motor by making sure to clear out the wires and push the latches back into their initial position. Remove the protective cover from the top of the motor by releasing the hooks with a screwdriver. Straighten the tip of the connecting wire. With a flat screwdriver, remove the terminal by exerting pressure onto the lock. Unscrew and remove the brush support from the motor. Remove the carbon brush. At this step, check if the rotor is in good condition. If the carbon brushes are too worn out, for example, they might have made streaks on the rotor. It is then possible that the motor must be replaced. If the rotor is in good condition, put the new brush into place. Important, never touch the tip of the brush. Replace the brush support onto the motor and hold it in place with the screws. Reconnect the terminal. Fold the connecting wire and replace the protective cover back onto the motor. Straighten the tip of the connecting wire. With a flat screwdriver, remove the terminal by exerting pressure onto the lock. Unscrew and remove the brush support from the motor. Remove the carbon brush. At this step, check if the rotor is in good condition. If the carbon brushes are too worn out, for example, they might have made streaks on the rotor. It is then possible that the motor must be replaced. If the rotor is in good condition, put the new brush into place. Important. Never touch the tip of the brush. Replace the brush support onto the motor and hold it in place with the screws. Reconnect the terminal and fold the connecting wire. Straighten the tip of the connecting wire. With a flat screwdriver, remove the terminal. Lower the middle tab of the brush with a flat screwdriver. Remove the carbon brush. At this step, check if the rotor is in good condition. If the carbon brushes are too worn out, for example, they might have made streaks on the rotor. 
it is then possible that the motor must be replaced. If the rotor is in good condition, put the new brush into place. Important, never touch the tip of the brush. Carefully lift the metal tab with a flat screwdriver. With the brush back into the motor, reconnect the terminal and fold the connecting wire.